Hello everyone and welcome to episode 64 of Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. We're getting near the end guys. So today, we're going to be fighting Fatalis again, um, just the Hunter X6 one. Um, we managed to repel him last time, it was actually, he was pretty chill honestly. Um, so I reckon this time will probably be our kill him, I don't see why not. Still using this of course, just checking through my items. And also guys, don't, don't forget if you enjoy this video and or you enjoy this content, and also if you're excited for third gen, that's coming soon. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like, and let's get on with the quest. Okay, here we are. I want to get my demon. Yep, okay, good. Definitely it's the same one, just making sure, because you never know. So it's good that it is the same one, obviously, because we've got the scars on his chest and his broken eye, etc. Um, honestly, it went so well last time that I actually don't know how long this episode's going to be. I mean, I don't... I genuinely don't think it would be a long episode. I mean, it could be, though, to be fair. What if I only did, like... A thousand hill to a thousand damage from before you never know um also guys i am recording this straight after the last episode so if anything has happened between this episode and that episode i can't really comment on it because i don't know i'm not from the future i'm still in the same same time i am now um but between the last episode and this because it's about 10 minutes i got a delivery which is cool um i bought my first gym shark item i'm not sponsored so don't worry <laughs> no um because like I don't, it's it's coming into summer for us in like where I am, um, and we just even get this to drop on him, um, and I don't own any shorts at all. So I thought I'd you know I'd get a few shorts. I don't like the way I look wearing shorts because my legs aren't very muscular yet. They're, I mean, they're not like, they're not scrawny. I just don't have much definition in them. Um, to be fair, I don't have much definition in most of my body, but it's just because like I'm <laughs> I'm gonna perma bulk, so I'm just like big. Um, there you go. Now, get some good head hits. I was about, I was going to take my power pill, but honestly, I didn't really have enough time. <laughs> Got some good head hits in, though. Come on, one more. Yes. Sort of. Um, but yeah, so I got some shorts. I just got, like, the, uh, the crest shorts, I think. And um, they're, like, cotton. Because I didn't want, like, you know, like, the, uh, plastic, not plasticky, but, like, that type of short where it's, like, that specific, that, like, that typical, like, gym item material. I don't like that. I like my clothes being like cotton or something, like if they are a little bit poly, whatever it's called. Um, I don't mind if it's like half or something like that, but I like I like it being mainly cotton, so I got those ones. They actually fit really well. Um, I still need, I need to fill out my quads a bit more because there's a bit of bit of leg room. Because um, I, I like my clothes to be a bit tighter, so that's why I went for those ones specifically because they're kind of like a tighter fit. Um, so I got to do some more quad exercises. But anyway, yeah. So I'm pretty excited about that. I got to wash them because they smell like a factory, <laughs> as as new clothes do. I would have honestly loved to have bought them in person, but I, as far as I'm aware, I can only buy them online. Um, because I didn't know if that would even fit me. I I almost thought. Oh god, I thought he was gonna run. I almost thought they didn't fit me when I first put them on because they were quite tight. Um, but the good thing is about it being cotton is it stretches a little bit, so it was perfect. But anyway. Back to Fatalis talk. No more, no more delivery talks. I have a few other deliveries coming in the coming weeks as well, hopefully. But um, yeah. So how are you guys doing? I didn't, I didn't think to ask last time. What did you think of last episode? Did you enjoy the fight? Um, I'm honestly kind of thinking, like, obviously I'm going to do Crimson Fatalis 100% now that I've realised how simple this dude is. A uh, hundred rank six version that is. Need put that disclaimer there. Um. I might even at some point do like the G rank normal Fatalis. Um, that will be sometime after Portable Third begins because I don't want to have to do all the training. I hate it. Also, well, the past few episodes I've been editing, I realize how much I say um. Sorry about that, guys. I hope it's not annoying. Um, I really don't mean to say it. It's just like, I just say it like, you know, when I'm thinking, when I'm trying to think of something to say, or um, there it is again. Or just like a natural break in what I'm saying, I say it. I don't mean to. <laughs> I like I almost said it again there. I'm trying. I'm actually really trying hard not to say it. Um, there we go. <laughs> Sorry guys. I hope you don't mind. I'm sure plenty of other people say it as well. It's just like since I've been when I was editing the last like couple episodes, I just really noticed it. This is so evident to me. I was like, oh my god, why do I say that so much? I was genuinely tempted to put an um counter in. <laughs> um, oh, there it is again. Oh my god. So hopefully, hopefully I haven't made you guys hyper aware to it now. 
because I'm now hyper aware to it every time I think about, like every time I say it, I think about it now. Almost said it again. Oh god. But yeah. I'm actually pretty confident that we'll be able to kill Fatalis this round, honestly. I feel like we did pretty damn good damage last episode. Um, I, I'm kind of curious. Like, I really feel like we could probably do Crimson. Like, considering we seem to be able to do normal. Um, oh god. Oh my god, that was so close. I actually thought I got hit there. That's what I was about to die. Because um, Crimson, as I said a couple episodes ago, is in this game basically just Fatalis. He's just slightly different. There's really not that much of a difference between normal and crimson there obviously is a difference but i'm you know you know what i mean um there it is again anyway um oh my god okay he's changing but yeah so i feel like we can do crimson white fatalis i'm a bit more iffy on just because white fatalis is more unique like he has um as me and my friends and my brother called it dodgeball if you guys have fought white fatalis you know the move where he flies up into the sky and then there's like a thousand lightning balls that come down that's what me and my friends and my brother and that called dodgeball. <laughs> I, I can't remember who first came up with that, either me, my brother, or my friend, but one of us said it and it just kind of caught on. Let's get this stuff. I unfortunately missed out on the head hit, of course, because like when he flew in, I was in the, uh, in the, air, in the camp already. Camp sort of thing. I don't know. I don't know if you call it a camp, I guess. It sort of is. Oh, I should have sharpened, I guess. But yeah, I reckon... I wonder if we could kill him, like, how, much, how long? 43? I wonder if we can kill him within, like, the first 20 minutes. Because you can repel him again, so we have to kill him before it gets down to 25 minutes. So we've got just under 20 minutes to kill him. Um, and then he just gets repelled again. Like, he gets repelled, as far as I'm aware, you can repel him multiple times um, until you kill him. But I, I'm, like, pretty damn sure we did good damage last time, so I don't see why we would need to repel him again. I'm like pretty damn sure we'll, we'll kill him this time, which honestly is so cool because I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to kill him to be honest with you. Oh, I just want to see him, as weird as it sounds, I just want to see him dead. That sounds really bad, but I'm talking about a monster in the game, YouTube. Don't strike me for causing harm and violence or whatever the policy is called. I'm talking about a pixel on a screen, not anything else. I have to say that. Well, to be fair, the automated system wouldn't actually uh, differentiate between game versus real life anyway, so I guess we'll find out. Oh god. I hate when I accidentally put the camera, oh my god, when I put the camera down like that, I can't tell what's going on. I guess I really didn't need as many healing items as I brought, because like, you know how I brought the life powders, the flute, everything like that. I kind of forgot that you could get supplies, to be fair. Because like, you get... You get nine first aid well actually i think i have more in there to be fair because i couldn't actually grab them all it's like you get a lot of healing items in this quest i mean he is meant to be like pretty much the third hardest fight because you know then there's crimson and white but still but in crimson and um white you don't get healing items though because crimson is fought as far as as far as i'm aware i'm pretty sure it's in the cantor area and then White Fatalis is fought, like, at the tower, the very top tower area. Um, so yeah. Here's the only area where you kind of, you get a bit of help. Especially with, like, because you don't just get the, um, healing items in this, in this fight. You get Dragonator, the big gate, uh, Ballista, or however you say it, um, cannons. You get a lot of stuff in this fight. Compared to the other ones, you get, you, the other ones, you just get nothing. You just... You're just raw dogging the fight. <laughs> Speaking of raw dogging, and I'm not going to be saying what you think I'm going to be saying. God, today at the gym was disgusting. It was disgusting. You want to know what happened? I got to the gym. I got my AirPod like case out. I opened them, and guess what? They weren't there. I left them at home. <laughs> I forgot to put them in the case. So they were just sitting on like my bedside table. It was disgusting. I had to listen to vanilla gym music. You know how bad vanilla gym music is? It's just like... It's just it's just terrible. They just had some like weird remixes that didn't even sound good. There was a lot of grunting and stuff. It was... I don't want to roll to the gym again. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be using that terminology for going to the gym without airport, like without music. But you, you, guys, you guys know exactly what I'm meaning, I'm sure. You just like... 
I need my own music. It's just, I just don't like it. Especially at this gym, like, because I went to the, I almost said the location for a second, damn. Um, I went to the gym, like, because my normal gym is still closed. I think it's closed for the rest of this week, maybe next week as well. I went to the other gym again. Um, and there's these two guys there, the ones that I said was taking up that space the other time, so, but anyway, they were just ego lifting the whole time, just slamming the weights as hard as they could, so I had to listen to that as well. <laughs> but um, I actually went to another different gym the other day, I think I'm going to go there for the rest of the week. It's actually closer to me, um, and it's been, like, it's been all completely redone the past, I think, maybe just a couple months ago. It's like, compared to the one I've been going to while my gym gets redone, this one is amazing. It's like four times the size, has at least two or three times the equipment, um, and it's all newer. It's so much nicer. Because the gym I've been going to since my actual gym is closed, I'm pretty sure it hasn't been done up in <laughs> gotta be at least ten years. Something like that. Or at least since it opened. I don't know when it opened. Oh god, watch out. But yeah. So... Today was interesting. I also didn't get very good sleep. I don't know what happened, but I was just—I woke up every single hour. That never usually happens with me. Just like literally every single hour, I woke up. It was quite annoying. Um, and I slept on my neck weird, so I had neck pain. So like basically today, just at the gym wasn't very optimal. <laughs> so I was in—I had neck pain. I was tired. Didn't have my music. Yeah, just a lot of things happened today at the gym. I'm hoping tomorrow will be better because I will get good sleep tonight, hopefully. My neck is already feeling better, so by the morning it should be pretty damn good. And I will 100% double, triple, quadruple check that I've got my AirPods with me. I don't want to forget them again. That was, it was honestly, it was terrible. It really was. I don't know how people go to the gym without their own music. Uh, I'm, I know I missed out an opportunity to hit his head there, but I needed to sharpen. Oh, I hit it anyway. <laughs> I got one hit at least, but yeah, I just have to have my own stuff because like half the time the, the music I'm listening to is what motivates me to actually go to the gym, so not having that like normal music that I listen to, it just like, I had no motivation pretty much. And then I went to the shops afterwards, so I had to go to the shops without music as well, which is weird. I had to pick up a few click and clicks because I had some things to pick up. Um, but yeah, I already mentioned most of that last episode, I think, where I said about, like, Kiki's delivery service and Christmas stuff and all that. I also won't be saying what I got for Christmas presents to anyone, because I don't know who in my family watches these, if anyone. People might watch, and then they'll be like, oh, that might be mine, you know? <laughs> I don't want people knowing. Also, randomly, once again, a very random thing in the middle of the episode, just like what happened with, um, a cantor. When... When, uh, closer to when Wilds comes out, would you guys be interested if I did, like, a giveaway key for, like, PlayStation slash Steam? I mean, I don't know if I would. I'm, I'm not really a giveaway enjoyer, but I feel like it could be nice, like, as a reward for everyone, like, if I got to a thousand subs. Would you guys be interested in that or not? I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure if I would. I mean, I'm happy to buy it, but I just don't want someone to try and, like, cheat the system and, like, you know, make it terrible for everyone. Um so I don't know how it would work if I did that, but if you guys would be interested, let me know. If you're not interested, also let me know, because I want to know if it's something I should bother thinking about or not. Um, I mean, I'm happy to do I'm happy to do a giveaway if people want. I mean, you guys have been amazing to me on this channel. Like, seriously, I love you guys all so much. It's so amazing. You guys have really made this channel amazing to me, and I genuinely never thought I would even get as far as I am right now, so I'm more than happy to do it. I just know there is a bit of a negative i've seen a lot of negativity about um giveaways with youtubers because of you know bigger youtubers that have done scummy things with giveaways in the past so i understand if people don't want it but i can guarantee you i would i would not do anything scummy if i did do one i would try as hard as possible to make it as fair as possible but i just thought you know it could be a cool thing if you guys are interested if not all good okay we're gonna have a pet fatalis i think yep Oh, actually, oh no, the cat has a pet for Talus. <laughs> the cat had a little dragon friend for a minute there, before he went underground. God, this weapon's sharpness isn't the best. I mean, it's getting the job done, don't get me wrong. But I mean, I just I have to sharpen so often. Just because I want to keep it on white, because it does so much more damage than having it on blue. I don't know the exact percentage. I'm sure someone will let me know, uh, if you do. 
Xander, you usually do quite comprehensive comments. If you want to let me know, you can. Don't feel pressured to, though. I just thought I'd cool you out because you always do awesome comments. And whenever you explain something to me, you always put a lot of detail in, which is amazing. I love reading through it. It's good to learn things, especially in a game that I've been playing for so long and still don't know everything about. It's awesome to me. Oh, I love the head hits. It's so satisfying. Seriously. It just feels so good to hit him on the head. I don't know why. It's just so nice. Oh god. Of course. Yes, I know, guys. I should have left the cat at home, but nah. He's a good distraction at times. That's why I don't why I don't leave him. He's he's nice, and you know Remy's been with me the whole way through. I can't I can't dog him now by take by leaving him home. Remy has to survive the whole game with me. He's got to see crimson. He's got to see white. He has to be here the whole way through. And dead. Oh, injury. <laughs> I actually for a split second thought I had it right. Oh god, five, six, seven. So we got seven minutes until he gets repelled again. So we need to kill him in that time if we can. Oh god, I almost ran, rolled into that. I genuinely think we can do it, like seriously. I'm not even like being crazy, I actually think we can kill him this time. I mean if not we'll just have to do it again. Um, if not I'll probably just do it in this episode and it'll just be a bit of a longer Fatalis fight I reckon. Just because next episode I kind of want it to be Crimson, even though I haven't unlocked Crimson yet in Hunt Rank 6 so I'm not sure what the conditions are. Um, I'll, I'll have to look it up what the conditions are to uh, unlock Crimson. I'm pretty sure he is a Hunter, Hunt Rank 6 version. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty damn sure. Dead. Injury again. <laughs> Every time I say dead, he gets injured. Come on. Please die, Mr. Fatalis. The death song. I always do that. <laughs> I've noticed that throughout the episodes. Like, when I go back and watch them, oftentimes I just randomly sing, Die, Mr. and then whatever the monster's name is. I honestly don't know why. Okay, guys, I'm going to try and use the Dragonator on him. Um, I remember him being really annoying with the Dragonator though, like, you have to have other people to help you. Um, cause like, it's hard to draw him into it. And obviously Remy's gonna get in the way, so I'm just gonna kinda fast forward a bit. So we need him to land, like, right here. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Perfect. Boom. Oh, I was kinda, I was really hoping that would kill him, honestly. I actually, oh. Can I get out this camera, please? Oh my god, can this camera... Am I stuck in this camera? Oh my god, that was that was way too long. I actually thought I was stuck in it. <laughs> I I was kind of hoping he would die from that hit, to be fair, the uh, Dragonator hit. I actually, I seriously started panicking there for a second, thinking I was stuck in that camera. Because I was like, oh god, am I going to have to redo this quest because of the, the camera glitch? <laughs> Why was that camera so long, though? So we've got him with the Dragonator. That would have that done good damage. Like, surely 500,000... Not 500,000, 500 to 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, I don't know. I don't know how much health this dude has. But I, I assume it would have done a good amount. Maybe he'll die in like a few hits? Die! Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> I'm confident though. I am, I am very confident. I think it can be done. Oh no, maybe not. We've only got three minutes. Oh god. I mean, as I said, like it doesn't matter. He'll just be repelled again. Um, and then we can fight him. I'll just fight him again in this episode because two fights, he won't have much health after that. Um, so, like, you guys will see me kill him this episode, pretty much. That's that's the gist of this. Um, I just really want to see if I can do it in this second hunt because I would honestly be really, I'd be really happy if I could do it in two hunts. Or just get the damage and get the damage and get the damage and. <laughs> what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sharpen. Um, when I can, and then I'm gonna top. I'm gonna pop that power pill, just because that does that puts like your attack up so much. Um, I know it only lasts like 10 seconds or 20 seconds. I can't remember the exact amount. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to land, um, just because then I can do some extra damage. And hopefully, if we can get him in, okay, he's gonna be a pet. Hopefully, we can get him in two minutes. Technically three minutes, but you know what I mean. Okay. I don't know if that was a good time to pop it. Oh god. I don't know how long it lasts. Please come down to the ground. Yes. 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 Oh, I missed. Yes. Okay. Three head hits. Two good ones. One. Eh. One. Oh no. Damn it. Okay, so I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get the full effect of the power pill, unfortunately. 
I only got three hits in, and then he started flying again. But that's a couple hits still. I'm happy with that. I mean, it might still be in effect. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I read that it's only like 10, 20 seconds or something like that. Oh, yes. Oh, that's glorious. I love seeing that injury. Please die. Oh, stop roaring. We only, have a, we only have two minutes. Okay. I'm stressing now, guys. I'm not stressing because I'm going to fail. I'm stressing because I really want to... I really want to be able to complete him in two hunts instead of having to do a third one. If I can complete him in two, I'm going to be a very happy chappy. Very happy. Oh, yes. Four hits. That was so juicy. That was so good. Please, this is like a perfect time. I've been given such good opportunity here to do damage. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm not hitting the best zones, but like, I'm still hitting him. Oh god, 23 seconds. Okay, I might have to do it again, guys, but that's alright. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. I wonder what my Apple Watch says my heart rate is right now. Oh, no, nah, he's repelled. Okay. Hey, you know what? We will just have to do it next time. That's alright, though. I'm happy with this. Yeah. Okay, unfortunately, he just re he got repelled, but I'll see you guys in a second, and we're going to fight him again. Okay, here we go, guys. Round three. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll be genuinely shocked if we don't actually manage to defeat him this, uh, this time. Because I, I was genuinely shocked we didn't complete, uh, defeat him last time. He must have a lot more health than I expected. Um, but he, he was probably close, so I reckon... I, I would, as I said, I'll be genuinely shocked if we don't manage to do it this time. I'll say that. Um, also, as obviously this is all in the one episode, so assuming that this goes well next, next episode will be Crimson. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really keen. Like, I, <laughs> this, this hasn't been anywhere near as bad as I thought. It's like I'm kind of keen to try out Crimson, because I was always really scared of Crimson and Wife Talus back on the PSP when I was younger. Because I was never able to actually properly defeat him. So, like, I was always scared to fight him. Um, normal Fatalis, you know, I had a healthy fear. But I'd, I'd completed his quest before. So I wasn't as, like, apprehensive. But definitely with Crimson and White, I was pretty apprehensive. Because, well, as I said, I hadn't actually technically completed it before. Um, but, yeah. I mean... If we can get him over to the other side with the Dragonator, I reckon that would just kill him in one hit, honestly. Uh, surely. Actually, I might have to do that in this quest, see if I can kill him with the Dragonator. That should be quite fun, I reckon. Oh god, he's gonna sit down. Yep, already knew already knew he was gonna do that. Oh, okay. How many hits away are you, Fatalis? Are you 5 hits? Are you 10 hits? Are you 100 hits? I've got no idea. Do you want to go under the gate and get crushed? That would be lovely. Oh my god. Why does he do this? He's done this so many times now. Where he just spams the uh, sit down. I don't know what the move's actually called, so I just call it the sit down. <laughs> I don't know, the uh, yeah, just the sit down. That, that's what I call it. Trademark sit down. Okay. Head hitting time. But yeah. I'm glad that you can fight him more than just the one repel, though, because if not, we would have had to restart, which would have been very unfortunate. Um, considering I feel like we did really good damage really good. I've been talking a lot about damage the past few episodes. I've just been like, I've kind of been really interested in it because like, you know, now I'm at like the end stages of the game. So like, I'm curious like how much damage, uh, how much health things have and like, you know, how much damage I'm doing with these end game weapons, etc. Um, especially because like back in uh, Freedom Unite, um, I used, like when, I, not Freedom Unite, this is Freedom Unite, no. In World and Iceborne, I would usually have an overlay on. I wouldn't always, but like, if I'm fighting a monster, um, I, would, I would often have the overlay on, just so I could like see how much damage I'm doing. And also if you're playing with people, you know, comparing how much damage everyone's doing, all that sort of stuff. Um, so like, obviously I don't have an overlay in this game, so there probably is one, but I don't have one. Um, so I have no idea like how much damage monsters are do how much damage I'm doing to monsters and all that. I'm, I'm very confident in this fight now <laughs> that we've technically completed the quest twice. I still haven't unlocked Crimson though. So I don't know if the condition to unlock Crimson is to actually properly defeat Fatalis. So like, if the repel isn't good enough and like, you have to actually fully hunt him to actually unlock it, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess I'll find out if we manage to do it this hunt, which, surely. I would be, as I said, I'll be shocked if we don't. Just because, 
I mean, especially with not having, especially with not bouncing, because that was one of the issues I had back in the day, I'd bounce a decent amount. So like, not bouncing, like with your weapon, is just, it makes this quest infinitely easier. Because obviously the bounce is just, oh, no, oh he's going to get hit and I'm going to be on the, on the wrong side. Okay, nope, never mind. I want to, I was trying to watch out for that. I want to try and get him crushed here. Because if he just, oh, you're going the wrong way, mate. If he just comes this way a little bit, I'm just going to see if I can coax him over here. He's going for the cat thing. I don't think he wants to come over. Is he? Okay, he's, he's coming all the way over. Actually, let's do the Dragonator. Why not? Assuming it's ready, I'm, I actually don't know if it has like a, a timer, but I'm guessing it's just ready straight away. Maybe we'll be able to, maybe we'll be able to defeat him in just one hit with the Dragonator. You have to watch out though, because he's fireballs up here at times. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And dead. Oh wow, okay. Okay, now we've got to deal with the uh, annoying camera for a thousand years, but he's, he's still not dead. I wonder how much damage that does then. God, why is this camera so long? There we go. That would have, it would have had to have done good damage on though. Without a doubt. I mean, it's a Dragonator, why wouldn't it? Okay, he's doing the, uh, the perma, the perma walk forwards again. <laughs> he seems to do that in this area where he just constantly, like, where he constantly just goes down, then up, then up, down, up, up, down, up, down, etc, etc, etc. Just over and over. I mean, at least it gives, it, actually, this is the exact, exact spot he did it last time. It must be something in his AI that's like, glitch to this spot, or maybe he's programmed. I wouldn't assume that programming to do that. But, um, at least it gives me a good time to attack him. Like, it gives me pretty good opening to do some good damn damage on him. Over 10 minutes? About 10 minutes to this quest now. I feel like I'm doing good damage. Maybe this weapon just isn't as strong as I thought it was, to be fair. I don't know. To be fair, I, I'm hitting the tail there. That's obviously a terrible zone to be hitting. I'm assuming the tail probably has a really bad hit zone, hit values. But still, I'm pretty sure this weapon's good. I mean, he gets injured like crazy. Maybe, it's just, it must just be how much health he has in general, to be fair. He probably has like 6 billion health or something. Obviously, that is a very large over-exaggeration. <laughs> but you never know. He could. He could have 6 billion health. It might take a while to <laughs> hunt him if that was the case, you know. You'd probably need like 30, uh, 30 repels. <gasps> oh my god, we did it! Yes! Yeah, hey look, exactly, within 10 minutes. Well, that's what I thought. There we go, Fatalis down, boys. Fatalis is down. Let's carve him up. I'm pretty sure he has multiple carve points. Yep, I thought so. There we go. Nice, we did it, guys. There we go, guys. Fatalis is complete. We actually did it. Only took three quests, but you know. So he mustn't have had much health left then in the second quest. But that, was, that wasn't too bad. Let's see if we've unlocked um, Crimson, because I'm assuming it's after you kill it you unlock the next one. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so we've unlocked Crimson, so next episode will be a Crimson attempt. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I actually, I, I had quite a bit of fun, honestly. He wasn't as bad as I remember him being, but yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed, and prepare for more Fatalis very soon, and Portable 3rd next week, hopefully. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you then. Bye.